Hi, heathens. Good morning. Um, well, it's going to be afternoon by the time you're seeing this, but it's morning when I'm filming it. Ah, we're getting into afternoon. It's late morning. Anyway, um, I have on a little bit of makeup. I have no highlighter on just in case because that's something we sometimes get in this. I have on mascara, eyeliner, and lipstick to go ahead and get into the March 2021 Allure Beauty Box. For those of you who do not know, Allure is a monthly beauty and wellness subscription. It is now $23 a month. So it's, it's kind of on thin ice compared to Ipsy and BoxyCharm, but it tends to provide a lot of skincare, which I do really enjoy. However, BoxyCharm this month was uh, pretty heavily skincare loaded. So given Ipsy a run for its money, considering one of the items in my BoxyCharm was worth $140. So, a lore better uh, deliver. So, like I said, I have some makeup on because typically this box is not very makeup heavy. If I get a lipstick in here that I want to swap this out with, I will. If I get a mascara, I will not open it because I have so many other ones open. And if I get an eyeliner, we'll probably just swatch it on my hand. So, without further ado, let's get on in and see what is in here. So, of course, as always, we have our brochure that is going to give us all the full-size pricing. And then inside here, we have our items. So, Sneak Peek, I recognize two, three of the brands right off the bat. Good things. So, let's move the brochure to the side and see what we have. So first thing in here that I recognize the packaging, even though I could only see the back, is the Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. I'm really excited about this, but I'm going to say I don't think this is a full size. This is 40 mil, so we'll see. Maybe this one comes in different sizes. We're going to go ahead and put it on. Um, I don't have one in front of me. I have one of the face creams, I believe, behind me. Uh, it's a moisturizer. It's a little bigger, so maybe the... It smells so good. Maybe the hand creams come in a different size. If this is not full size, Allure, you're making me sad. It's supposed to be full size. All right. Next, brand I recognize. We have something from Ico. This is the Double Act Shadow Stick. Uh, it has dawn and dusk. Looks like one might be a matte and one might be a shimmer. So, we have wooden shadow sticks. So, let's swatch them. We have dusk. Oh, that is smooth. Okay. And then we have Dawn, which is the shimmery one. Also very, very smooth. Okay. That's very nice. Okay. I kind of am, am a little more happy. I'm going to go ahead and put that with my shadow sticks because I know I'm keeping that. Next thing we have in here is a B Glen for Beverly Glen Laboratories a clay wash. It's a mild facial cleanser. I'm sorry if you just saw me spit. <laughs> it says it is natural clay and it's in a bag. It says how to use wet face with lukewarm water. Place about the size of a cherry of clay wash and that's big into wet hands. Gently rub hands together. No need to lather. Lightly massage clay's wash over entire face to gently remove dirt. Please do not rub or scrub too harshly. Carefully rinse with lukewarm water. So interesting. I'm assuming because it's in a bag it might be kind of pricey. So we'll see. Put that to the side but it doesn't look full size. So we have three items so far and there are four more in the bag box. So oh, this goes with the shadow stick. This is neat. Okay. I thought this was a separate item but this is an Ico London sharpener. So this is the top where all your little bits are going to go. And then that's where you stick it in. That's cool. Extra points for sending a sharpener along. Okay. So then we have a Pixie by Petra Lip Glow. It's a tinted lip balm in the shade Ruby. 
not going to take off my lipstick for this simply because I'd much rather wear this color the rest of the day. Let's see. This is what the package looks like. Doesn't look like it's going to be severely tinted. How do you, oh, you have to twist the bottom to get it to go up, not the top like some. Let's see, I'm going to swatch it beside. There's a little bit of tint. Okay. I swatched it beside that dusk shade or dawn. That's all right. I mean, a lip balm's a lip balm. I'm always excited to get more. Ugh, my nose itches. All right. Mm, let me put that back in the packaging. Next, we have one of the brands that I recognized from the um, package. This is Mud Masky. It is a serum-infused eye mask. It reduces dark circles, puffy eyes, fine wrinkles, dry skin, and swelling. I've tried a few things recently from this brand, and everything I've tried I like. I think, yeah, the only other thing I have in here is the Leave Me On Winter Mask. And then the other thing is in my bathroom, it's like for after a clay mask. It's like a an after mask serum or something like that. So excited to try that. And then last but not least... We don't have a sheet mask this month. What? Oh! Oh! <laughs> I see Allure being sly. How cheeky. We have a 111 skin product. How weird. This is the Vitamin C Brightening Booster, which I do not believe I have. Um, No. I have my other 111 skin product. Oh, wait. Actually... Let's see if I have it back here. Don't mind me. I am just, oh, I do already have it. What? So this is mine. It sits back there so that it's out of the sunlight. That's what made me remember. And then I have this one that just came in a lure. So I will show you mine because obviously it's already been opened. I was sitting here for a second and I was like, wait a minute. That sounds really familiar. Allure tried to be cheeky, but I already have that product. I do like it. Shake well before use. Mix one to two drops with your moisturizer or apply, apply directly to skin after cleansing and wear sunscreen during the day. So. Hmm. Lore almost had me. If I didn't have that product, I'd be much more excited. I don't know if I want to back up or if I want to rehome it. All right. Let's check out pricing. So first thing in here that 111 skin and it retails for $155. So more expensive than the one that came in BoxyCharm. However, I already have it. So let's see if the value is still worth it taking that out. The Ico Double Act Shadow Stick retails for $25. The, yeah, this is not a full size. Um, the uh, B. Glenn Clay Wash Cleanser. Retails for $44, full size. The Pixie Beauty Lip Glow retails for $14. Mm -hmm. The Ahava is not full size. The full size is $100. And this one is $40. Uh, full size retails for $24, so this is just under $12 if they scale appropriately. And then the Mud Masky Serum Infused Eye Mask retails for $56. So, this is where we're making up our value, taking the 111 skin out of it. I know that's not fair to do because the value includes the 111 skin, but for myself. And that is it. Now, I am really excited about the products. There's nothing in here that I'm, you know, off the bat, like... Like sometimes. Uh, the closest thing to eh is the lip glow, like just in general. Um, but I can always do with a balm. If it was just a tinted lip product but not a balm, I'd be more eh about it. The only reason I'm kind of eh about this is because clearly it's a product that I already have. So do I keep it for a backup or... I gotta figure that out. But anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. Overall, the value was incredible. And uh, 
I guess they stick around for another month. They're on thin ice, though. Like, thin ice. Let me know your thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to see more of my content. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!